I love you. I love you too. Well, Oakley, everybody wants to know your story. They want to know why we got you and all that other stuff. So I guess we're going to tell them real quick. I'll try not to be too boring in the story. Right, Shelby? We'll try not to be too boring. Um, a couple weekends ago, would have been two weekends ago, uh, you guys may have seen, we were up north on vacation in Munising, hiking back to Frozen Waterfalls, and I had taken my computer so that I could empty my cameras whenever we filled it up with pictures, and I got an email from a friend of mine who had said she had gone and looked at this husky, and oh, you should go check it out. You guys have to understand that because I already had two huskies, and because I work at the deli, I get a lot of people that contact me and say, oh, I've got a husky, you should come see it, or oh, I found a husky that's free, you should come take it. Well, we can't save them all, but I get that a lot. So anyway, this girl messaged me and said, I went and looked at this dog over in Petoskey, which is, I don't know, like 120 miles away, if that, and she's really nice and really friendly and she really needs a home, you should check her out. So at first I was like, okay, you know, we've kind of gone back and forth about getting another dog. We really wanted to get another dog that would be able to pull the sled with Shelby. Um, but of course that wasn't the only reason we wanted another dog. We'd wanted to adopt a husky for a long time. When we moved to the bigger house, we'd kept saying we were going to get a third one. So I started talking to her that night in the hotel room and she sent me a link to the pictures of Oakley. And I showed him to Jamie and he's going, oh, she's really cute, blah, 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 blah. And the ad said she was about two years old. So anyway, we had kind of sort of talked about it and uh, not really decided anything. And a couple days went by and I had been talking back and forth with the old owner of Oakley. And she had sent me a bunch of pictures and I kept showing them to Jamie. And he kept saying, oh, she's really pretty. And um, all this while we were under the understanding she was about two years old. <laughs> um, we decided to have them go ahead and bring her over. The old owners were willing to bring her with all of her stuff to our house so that she could meet Shiloh and Shelby, so that in case something didn't work out, they could go ahead and just take her home. Instead of us driving over there, getting her, coming here, having it not work out, and then having to drive her all the way back, or finding another place for her to go. So, they brought Oakley to the house. The reason I didn't tell you guys that Oakley was coming was because if it didn't work out, I didn't want you guys to be sad. I didn't want you to be upset that, you know, excited that we were going to get another dog, and then upset if it didn't work. Um, so they brought Oakley to the house on Sunday, and she did really well with Shiloh and Shelby. Took to her really well. I, uh, no, I love you too. <laughs> um, she did really well with Shiloh and Shelby, and they got along great. So of course we told the old owners that we would we would take her. But we we did notice that she was definitely not two years old. I mean, Jamie and I pretty much knew that right away. Um, so. We took her to the vet, it would have been Monday night, I took her to the vet to get her updated on all of her shots and everything like that. Um, and we contacted, I contacted the old owners again and asked them to get me whatever information they could from the shelter because they had originally adopted Oakley from, I'm not going to say the name of the shelter, they had originally adopted Oakley from a shelter, not our local shelter, but a different shelter. And the people at the shelter had told them that Oakley was only a year old. And I actually have the paperwork from that shelter stating that Oakley was supposedly only a year old. Um, <laughs> so the people we got her from were kind of young. They really had, they had no reason to believe that the shelter would lie to them and just make up that young of an age for the dog. When we took Oakley to the vet, I told um, Dr. Knight, our vet, that you know, we weren't sure how old she was, that we knew she was older than two, but we weren't sure how old she was. And Dr. Knight looked at her teeth and looked at her nails and did all that stuff and gave us a good guess that she's probably a middle-aged husky, anywhere between five and seven years old, maybe older, not really sure. But that was her guess. Sometimes it's hard to tell because if the dog, you know, we don't know, we know that the dog was in really good hands with their previous owner. The people that we got her from did awesome things with her. They were very good to her. And I still talk to her. She watches Oakley's videos. Can you say hi? Can you say hi, Oakley? Oakley? Can you say hi to your old mama and daddy? Can you talk? Oakley, can you talk? Tell me. <laughs> I know, you're going to get up now. What? What? Can you say hi to them? Say hi. <laughs> Oh, I know. I know. 
<laughs> Shelby likes to make noise when Oakley makes noise too. <laughs> you you can go back on the couch now if you want. Uh, you can. Um, but anyway, they did really, you know, the problem that they had was they lived in a two-bedroom apartment. They went to school full-time. They worked a lot. They had Oakley for a little bit over a year, and it was just getting to the point where, you know, they just didn't have enough time for her. So they did the right thing in rehoming the dog. I, I, I completely agree that they did the right thing. Oakley needed a yard. She needed, she needed more attention than what she was getting. So anyway, when we went to the vet, we found out that Oakley was a little bit older. Um, we also found out, if you guys have noticed, the one eye on this side, you can see it's kind of running. She actually has, and I don't think she'll let me show it to you, it's really hard to see because it's small, but there's a little tiny bump on this side of that eye. Um, and it's, they call it like an eyelid tumor, but it's not really a tumor, it's more like a wart. Um, so the vet said, she does rub it. Not a lot, but a little bit. The vet said that it's something that we should get taken care of, um, but they have to put her under to, to take care of it. So what we're going to do is, when we have them remove it, which we're going to have it removed, we're also going to have them clean her teeth, because she's probably never had her clean, teeth cleaned in her entire life, and they're kind of starting to look bad. Um, so just to be sure, we're going to go ahead and have her teeth cleaned, so hopefully we don't end up with any major teeth issues in the future. Shiloh, I, that... This is Oakley's bed that came with Oakley. She's not laid in it yet since she's been here. Yesterday, Shiloh decided it was her bed. And now, since Oakley has seemed to have stolen the couch, which Shiloh would sometimes lay on the couch or she would lay in that chair or that chair. Shiloh's favorite chair is that chair, so don't feel bad that she's not on the couch. But she has now claimed this bed as her own. And the fireplace is right here. When the fireplace is on, this is Shiloh's favorite spot. There's a Oakley. Um, but anyway, back to the story. I told you, this is going to be a long rambling video. I'm not good at doing this. <laughs> but you guys wanted to hear it. So they wanted to hear it, didn't they? I know, they wanted to hear it. And don't worry, Shadow and Shelby are still getting just as much love. I know you are. Um, see, and then I forgot what I was saying anyway. Um, the other thing that the vet had said is that Oakley's, her hips don't, bless you. Bless you. Bless your face. Um, Oakley's hips seem to be really, to, seem to be fine, but her back knees and her back legs have a real slight, um, creaking or clicking, I think she called it. She thinks it's beginner stage arthritis. So what we have done for Oakley is we've gotten her on a liquid glucosamine that we add to her food. And we've actually started adding it to Shiloh and Shelby's food too, because even though they get the vitamin supplements, which all three of them now get, the liquid gl glucosamine is really good for their joints. Um, I know, I know, just, you're so silly, you're so silly. Um, so we've started giving them all of that, and we're going to monitor, the other thing is, Oakley seems to lay down really slow, and we think it may be because, you know, she didn't have a whole ton of exercise, and now she's been out in the yard, running around, playing with Shiloh and Shelby, and probably pulled some muscles too, according to the vet. Um, it's, she's been here a week today, and we've noticed a huge difference in, even with the slowness of her laying down and the little bit of whining she would do when she would lay down, she's definitely doing it a lot less. She's been on the glucosamine since Tuesday. They said it would take about a week before we would really notice any difference. But I also think that the, um, I know, you just want me to rub your belly. I know. I also think that the, um, the fact that she's been going outside every day and exercising with Shiloh and Shelby is helping. Um, her weight, the vet said she probably needs to lose about five to eight pounds. Um, she's not fat, she's just a little bit overweight is what she said, but she said five to eight pounds she should probably lose. She'll probably look a lot more like Shelby if she loses that way, I mean, different color of course, but same type of body build. Um, sled pulling. I don't know, <laughs> Shelby, Shelby, I'm, I'm trying to tell a story. I'm trying to tell a story, okay? Okay? Can I tell a story now? Thank you. Eh? Thank you. <laughs> um, as for pulling a sled, I don't know if she'll be able to do it. The vet said that she probably won't do it at all this year, mainly because it's supposed to be 40 some degrees this weekend, so I'm sure all, or this week, so I'm sure all the snow we got is gonna melt anyway. Um, but she's a little bit overweight, she's not really ready for it, so we're gonna, you know, exercise with her a lot this summer, get her a little bit more into that, and then maybe next year, depending on what the vet says, um, we may let her try it. The vet said she should be okay to do it. Um, would just take it slow. Same thing with agility. 
Um, she's starting agility again. I'm doing agility again with Shelby too. Um, Shiloh has no interest with it, which is why I don't do it with Shiloh. I'm gonna see if Oakley wants to do it. Tomorrow's the first day and she's gonna be in the beginner's class and Shelby's gonna be in the advanced class, which this Wednesday I'm gonna show you footage from the agility that we'd been doing with Shelby from the last class. Um, but we're gonna give it a try with Oakley and see if she likes it tomorrow. If she doesn't like it, I'm not gonna make her do it. If I think it's gonna be too much for her, I'm not gonna make her do it. But the vet said that she could go ahead and try it, that it shouldn't be, it, it shouldn't be too much on her. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> the broom fell. We better go inspect. The broom fell. Go check it out. You just lay here. Don't don't go anywhere, Shy. So anyway, yeah. So for any of you that have actually listened to this whole long ramble on Oakley's story, should we get a ball? Um, I appreciate it. It was kind of a I didn't mean to ramble, but it's a long it's kind of a long story and it's kinda of hard to shorten and leave any of it out because then you guys will have a million questions. And d feel free to ask questions, you know, I mean leave us comments, ask us questions. I still try to respond to every single comment we get, which is becoming harder and harder as the channel grows more and more. Um but I, I try to take the time to do that. You can also, you know, Facebook.com slash gone to the snow dogs or twitter.com slash gone number two the snow dog without S. Um, that's our Twitter page. Links are down below. You know, you can always contact us there and ask us questions. We really do appreciate it. I love talking with you guys. You know, they, doing this with the dogs is fun, but being able to share their lives with you makes it so much more fun. There's a Jeep. Let's see if we can show you guys. Wow, it's really bright white. It's really bright white, Oakley. Is it going to focus? There it is. We did get quite a bit of snow. We got our... Um, I think they said we were supposed to get 10 to 15 inches, and I think we probably got all of that. Yeah, if you check out our vlog channel, which is youtube.com slash without the snow dogs, which the dogs are on the channel a lot, um, you can actually see more of our day-to-day -day lives, um, not just the themed videos that we try to do on this channel, really. Oh, and before you guys ask, because I'm sure you noticed, the Shiloh and Shelby stained glass. Hey Aunt Pat, if you're watching this video, can we have one of Oakley too? <laughs> I'll ask her if she'll make us one. I will. So there's the long rambling story about our newest addition, Oakley. She's doing great. Um, she has integrated into the pack very well. She, We haven't had any issues with her so far. No, none at all. She's a little bit toy possessive. Like, if she's got something and Shelby wants to see it, she does tend to growl a little bit, but she's never snapped at her, and I can reach in and grab the toy, so it hasn't been a big issue. That's probably that in the back door. She didn't like the back door when she first got here, but now she goes in and out of it without issue. So, there we go. That's the story of Oakley. She's doing really well. Can you tell everybody hi, Oakley? Oh, my goodness. Oakley likes to talk. Do you like to talk, Oakley? <coughs> hey, I love you. <coughs> I love you too. <coughs> I love you too. <coughs> Shelby, I love you. <coughs> hey, Shiloh, I love you too. <coughs> I love you. <coughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Shy. Shiloh's like, stop it with all the noise. I was sleeping. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I know. We'll see you on Wednesday. Right? We'll see you on Wednesday.